caveat there as well. If it survives intact. Yeah, the yeah. sun is, you know, it's unusual for it to get the slingshot <laughs> around, but we'll see. Hopefully we'll it's see. big enough, too, that it'll, you know, make its big comet. So I have my fingers crossed because I want to see it. I do, too. Okay. Uh, as we're talking about traveling today, yes. that's a big day for us. And it's actually a pretty easy commute as you get ready to head out the door this morning, no matter where you're going. Only thing we're dealing with is a little patchy fog. Otherwise, no precipitation. We'll stay partly sunny today. We'll start off in the mid to upper 30s, and some of us already starting in the lower 40s. It's much warmer than what we saw yesterday morning because of the cloud cover right now. 47 by noon. We'll top off right around 52 degrees today, and it will be a slow cool down as we'll stay generally mostly cloudy overnight tonight with uh, temperatures right around 42 by 7 p.m., ending around 40 degrees by 9 p.m. So as we look out this morning, this is the fog I'm talking about. Again, down towards Aurora, about three miles visibility towards Hillsboro, and then uh, between four and five in Salem. So really not that bad. Just be aware of this if you are heading especially south in the valley. Outside right now in Portland, 39 degrees. Winds are calm right now at the airport, a little northerly breeze downtown. Cooler air out towards Hillsboro and 39 this morning in West Lynn, mid 30s in Vancouver, and 33 degrees in Salem this morning. 46 though out towards Astoria. It is going to be breezy, of course, in the eastern areas. Once again, we have those east winds, Troutdale winds gusting to around 28 as well as Wood Village. Rooster Rock, 38, and we had winds uh, close to 60 miles per hour at ground point within the last hour. So plenty of clouds that we're dealing with today. Most of the moisture is really up towards the north already into Washington. We saw a few sprinkles out of this along the north shore, but really not much to really talk about in the way of that. This system is going to be making its way towards the south and the east, so that's going to impact parts of California, especially southern California uh, over the holiday travel forecast, I should say tomorrow and on Friday. So rain is likely down there after traveling there here. This is what we're going to be really talking about Sunday into Monday. We're going to start to see showers developing overnight on Friday. They should be light and mainly light on Saturday. Sunday it becomes more of a steady rain and we're also going to feel winds pick up, so it's going to be breezy. Colder air is really going to come in because the system's coming from Alaska, so that is going to bring down the snow level. So Sunday evening we're looking at the pass levels through the resort. Some hefty snow amounts could come in the resorts, maybe a foot or so through Monday. So if you're traveling now, it's going to be looking pretty good coming home. If you're traveling over the Cascades, that could be an issue. So have that in the back of your head, maybe a plan B. And then on Monday, this is going to be the day to watch because if we uh, still keep the moisture around, which one of the models is indicating it wants to in a little bit earlier, we could get maybe a little rain and snow mixed here in the metro area and on the valley floor. So this is going to be something to watch. The one thing I will guarantee you is, is we are going to have much colder air coming in. So stay tuned. We'll keep you updated with the rest of the forecast as that comes closer. So 50s out towards the coast, mid to upper 40s east of the mountains today and breezy through the gorge. We'll be looking at partly sunny skies and 52 uh, downtown and 32 uh, for uh, the overnight low. Generally temperatures between about 51 and 53 for all of us. And as we look at the extended forecast, we'll stay dry tomorrow and on Friday. That system starts to come in over the weekend. We'll watch that very closely, but colder temperatures on Monday and Tuesday. Back to you.